These will be slow to drop, but as we clear out, you see the temps in the 40s will start heading back down into the 30s. I'm looking for about mid 30s into tomorrow morning. So it is still a cool start. Thankfully, it's not going to be as windy of a start to your day as the last few have been. Winds not nearly as strong as they were this time yesterday or the past several days. Now, overnight, while that trend continues, tomorrow I do expect winds to jump a little bit. We'll see them between about 10 to 20 miles per hour and the potential for gusts in that 20 to 30 miles per hour range. So your Friday will be breezy, but it will also be warmer. The last little speed bump that we have to go through is this little trough swinging through. And I know you saw the clouds build in. Well, on radar, there are some showers showing up, but these mostly have not been reaching the ground because of very dry air. At most, we have a chance to see a very light sprinkle over the next couple of hours. By later this evening, that chance for a sprinkle ends and the clouds clear out. And then overnight, we're setting ourselves up for a sunny Friday. By morning, the mid 30s start. It's cool temperatures, but with that sun around, we'll warm up a lot faster. In fact, by late morning into the early afternoon, we're already warmer than we are right now with temperatures in the mid 50s. Afternoon highs, it's low 60s. Now, you will still have that breeze, so while it will feel very nice if you're out in the sun, if you find yourself in the shade, that breeze may add a little chill to the air. You still may want a light windbreaker, and especially heading out to high school football games, really have lucked out this season, and tomorrow, that trend can continues with lots of uh, dry weather, quiet conditions, temps in the 50s to start the games, dropping to the 40s to end them. For your weekend, Saturday starts off a little warmer. 40s for the lows. That's around where our highs were the last few days. In the afternoon, you see we're already in the 60s by noon. I'm expecting highs around 70 degrees with dry weather and sunshine for Saturday, dry weather and sunshine for Sunday. Into Monday, we're still dry. The next storm system I'm watching starts coming together on Tuesday and that will slowly increase our rain chances into the latter part of your Wednesday. So we have a nice dry stretch with sunshine and warm temps that we get to enjoy. 35, the low for tonight. The clouds thin out. The morning starts cool. The afternoon gets a little better with about 62 degrees for your high. Mostly sunny, though. It will be breezy, and that breeze continues for the high school football games. But dry weather for the last week of high school football regular season here. Into the weekend, we will be watching for temps rising to around 70 degrees and we'll hold those 70s into the early part of next week by Wednesday watching for a few showers later in the day a better chance comes on Thursday